We've had live photos appear of the OnePlus 8 Pro and I'll be sharing all the details right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest tech, please hit subscribe followed by the bell. So we've of course had many leaks surrounding the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro giving us the full design and specifications, but the latest leaks come in the form of real photos and look different to what we're expecting. The photos have appeared on Weibo and show someone using a new OnePlus phone, but it is of course semi-hidden by its protective case. If we zoom into the phone, we can see it doesn't look to be the device we're expecting. We can see that it does have curved edges on the side, but unlike the renders, we seem to have a dual punch hole camera towards the top right of the display. When it comes to the rear, we can also see a slightly different camera setup to that of the renders. And looking at the rear, while it is blurry, it seems to say OnePlus 5G. So this of course could mean it's a completely different device altogether, or in fact just a prototype that didn't make it to final stage. Ages. Considering it's simply just a photo uploaded to Weibo, I would think it's most likely fake or an early prototype, but there's always the possibility that it could be the OnePlus 8 Pro. Personally, I hope that the information we've had from the reliable leakers are true, as if they are, we're in for another great device from OnePlus. Last week, Max J teased that the OnePlus 8 Pro may be coming with a 120Hz display. Now, of course, the OnePlus 7T and the OnePlus 7T Pro already have a 90Hz display, and OnePlus confirmed all future models will stick with this. But if the OnePlus 8 Pro comes with a 120Hz display, it will provide an even smoother experience. It's likely that the standard OnePlus 8 is going to stick with 90Hz, given that both phones are looking quite similar and there do need to be features to distinguish the premium model from the standard. But the OnePlus 8 Pro is looking like another incredible phone and we've had plenty of leaks surrounding the design and the hardware. On the front of the OnePlus 8 Pro, we've got a pretty much all screen curved display with a punch hole selfie camera in the top left. The display is going to be a 6.65 inch display and if MaxJ is correct, a 120 Hertz fluid AMOLED display. The selfie camera is going to be a 16 megapixel wide angle and the phone will of course have an in-display fingerprint scanner. While the device won't have an in-display camera sensor, it will be the first from OnePlus to feature a quad camera setup on the rear. We've got a 48 megapixel wide angle main sensor, an 8 megapixel telephoto with 3 times optical zoom, a 16 megapixel ultra wide and finally a time of flight depth sensor. It looks like they're sticking with the vertical camera alignment this time round with the additional time of flight sensor above the LED flash module. The phone's of course going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 and it's reportedly coming with the choice of 8 or 12 gigs of RAM and storage will likely be 256 gig. This will of course be using UFS 3 and reports suggest that it will be a 5G compatible device. We've got the power button and the alert slider on the right hand side with the volume rocker on the left. We of course have a USB type C port on the bottom with a new speaker grill design and a smooth top with only a hole for the mic. Battery capacity is likely to be around 4,100 milliamp hours, considering it's a similar size to its predecessor, and this will of course support 30 watt fast charging. It's going to come with Android 10 out of the box, and the OnePlus 8 Pro is going to measure in at 165.3 by 74.4 by 8.8 millimeters, so the same thickness as the predecessor. This could mean, however, that we again do not get wireless charging, but at this point we still don't know. OnePlus have always stayed away from wireless charging, but it seems to be a common request from their consumers. Again, there's expected to be no official IP rating, but as always, OnePlus do make their phones water resistant. They just don't include official ratings to keep the cost down. While it isn't sufficient for many, we do need to remember that even phones with official IP ratings don't cover water damage under warranty. Given that OnePlus haven't been bumping their prices too much, we can expect the phone to start around $750 or £700. When it comes to the standard OnePlus 8, we can see it looks similar to the OnePlus 8 Pro, and this time they've also gone for a punch hole camera instead of the notch we're used to seeing. For the first time ever, we'll be getting a curved display on the standard model, and a source claims it's going to be a 6.5 inch 90Hz fluid AMOLED display. The selfie camera is again going to be a 16 megapixel wide angle, and it's no doubt going to have an in display fingerprint scanner. OnePlus already confirmed that all future models will be 90Hz, so we know this is going to be the case. 
the phone dimensions come in at 162.6 by 75.9 by 8.8 millimeters and as you can see they've gone with a triple camera setup on the standard oneplus 8 and stuck with the vertical alignment we're used to seeing instead of the new circular housing we saw in the 7t it's reportedly going to have a 48 megapixel wide angle main sensor an 8 megapixel telephoto with two times optical zoom and a 16 megapixel ultra wide but there will be no time of flight sensor on the standard oneplus 8. The OnePlus 8 again has the power button and the alert slider on the right with the volume rocker on the left and the SIM tray can be found at the bottom. The device is going to be powered by the Snapdragon 865 and judging by recent releases we'll see 8 gigs of RAM with 128 or 256 storage. When it comes to battery capacity, given the device's size, it's likely going to be around 3,700 to 4,000 milliamp hours, depending on how much space they have internally. And of course, it is going to support 30 watt fast charging. Price wise, we're expecting the OnePlus 8 to be around five to six hundred dollars and six hundred pounds. Of course, both phones are going to ship with Android 10 in the form of Oxygen OS, and it's great that we've got so many leaks so early on, and many are excited for the launch of the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro. Most information comes from OnLeaks, and given that OnLeaks is a reliable source, I would think at least the bulk of this information is true. 120Hz is going to add a much smoother experience to the phone and it doesn't seem to affect battery life too much on the phones I've used with 90Hz displays so this is a great feature to include. Max J already posted a tweet to say both phones will be coming in Q2 of 2020, but to be honest, we already knew that as OnePlus tend to stick with the same schedule when launching their phones. But as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of the OnePlus 8 and the OnePlus 8 Pro? And what do you think is likely to be correct, the leaked renders or these new photos that have appeared on Weibo? But thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, smash a thumbs up. If you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and I'll see you guys in the next one.